Hi, I'm Jeremy Brewer, and I'm the Senior Azure Architect at Emergent Software. I want to take you through a new preview feature called Screen Capture Protection for Windows Virtual Desktop. Ever since Windows Virtual Desktop was released in 2019, I cannot stop uh, raving about it. The product is something that I think is really revolutionary. It's taken the traditional terminal services and remote desktop, and it really has made a great impact for our customers. I have been trying to put as many people on this as possible, and I want to show you one of the features, and which is one of the reasons why I think you might want to be on it too. According to the Microsoft documentation, we should be able to enable a preview feature. And it looks like all we need to do is enable this specific registry key. And then going down into the directions a little bit further, it looks like all we need to do is make sure that we have a recent version of the Windows desktop client. It's limited to just full desktop at the moment. And then also to make sure that our validation uh, settings are enabled for our pool. Well, I just happen to have a test environment for that. So let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to go ahead and go into my test environment here. And I have a WVD multi-user set up. And what we want to do is we want to enable that validation environment. So we're going to go into the pool, go into properties here for that pool. And we're going to enable this for validation. Go ahead and save that. Now that that's done, and we have to make sure that we have the most recent version of Windows Desktop, which we do, uh, then it seems like all we have to do is enable that registry key. So pulling up Windows Remote Desktop Client, we're going to verify the version quick. By going up to Settings and About, and we can see that we're running version 1.2.16.72. And the documentation had told us that we needed to be running version at least 1526 or later. So I think we're doing good there. Okay, let's jump into the testing environment and set that registry key. A couple ways to do it through command line or PowerShell. Let's set it manually because I'm kind of a visual learner, so I want to see this. And what we'll do is we'll go over to the terminal services policy section here. So H key local machine. It's going to be software policies. Microsoft, Windows NT, and Terminal Services. And in here, we're going to set a D word value. New D word. And we're going to go ahead and grab the name here out of the documentation. Paste. And it is going to include that F right there at the beginning, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and set this value to a 1 to make it true. And then we're going to go ahead and actually go through a restart of the system. We're going to go ahead and jump back into the testing environment and see if that restart did the trick. And I'll tell you, it's the craziest thing. You can't see my screen at all. It's not being recorded whatsoever. I'm minimizing it. I'm windowing the screen right now. And you can't see it. I'm unable to use Snipping Tool to create a screenshot of it. Here is Snipping Tool. Nothing. You cannot see the Windows Virtual Desktop at all. This is the type of thing I'm talking about when it comes to security in Windows Virtual Desktop. This is the type of thing that keeps me talking about it time and time again. The ability for uh, having that safe haven of information. So whether you're an IT member who is excited about the simplicity of maintaining a remote environment, or whether you're talking about keeping sensitive documents um, protected this is the type of thing that is going to help produce that okay that was pretty awesome i was not expecting how great that was going to work like i said in the video even my screen capture software could not even see the video and i think that's just something incredible if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more because i'm going to be capturing more things than just simply windows uh virtual desktop and microsoft azure uh, feel free to look down in the description for ways to contact us, and I appreciate your time today. Thank you.